Dumbfire missiles are part of a small family of weapons in Elite that deal explosive damage, an archetype that is underused in the current meta for several reasons. These weapons can be devastating in the right hands. Here we'll explore how these weapons can be used effectively and why they're often passed over for other offerings in the current weapon meta. Dumbfire missiles have a massive ammunition pool, faster fire rate, and higher effective DPS than other explosive weapons in the game. Unlike other hardpoints, missiles deal the same damage regardless of module size, making them an incredibly potent weapon on smaller ships. With engineering, it's possible to push the damage output just north of 42.7 DPS using the oversized Rapid Fire Blueprint. This places Dumbfire racks on par with size 3 plasma accelerators using the grade 5 short-ranged oversized blueprint. The ability to achieve this damage level with a small ship makes these weapons a devastating source of outgoing damage, especially against unshielded targets and as part of a wing. So why don't more people use dumb fires? Well, dumb fire missiles come with a few significant gotchas. Dumb fire missiles travel faster than any other missile in the game, but that high speed is still only 750 meters per second meaning that the lead times for dumbfire missiles are high. The targeting system will still give you a lead reticle, but it also gives you the same targeting marker that the Seeker missiles use, meaning you have to place the lead reticle somewhere in a giant pair of parentheses and wiggle it around until the outer brackets light up with a second pair of larger parentheses. In practice, this means that I have no idea where my shots are going to land on the target ship only that the missiles might hit the target if I fire at the precise moment the indicator lights up. The problem is that this indicator feels clumsy and awkward if you ever find yourself engaging a smaller, more maneuverable target. The slow shell speed means that the target actively maneuvering will probably dodge your shots, giving you little options in a fight but to get closer. Get too close, and you'll start taking splash damage from your own weapons, making firing during a ram inadvisable especially if your shields go down as you run the risk of damaging your own weapons. Despite the larger base ammunition pool, any prolonged fight puts a lot of pressure on your reserves. High intensity combat zones tend to drain these weapons, with most engagements requiring me to synthesize at least once per hardpoint. This might not be a big deal for veteran players, who have larger synthesis reserves built up, but newer players might struggle to keep up with the blueprint's moderate demands. Synthesis does offer commanders the option to boost weapon damage through premium synthesis, which adds 30% bonus damage to the module's total output for a maximum DPS of 56.81 per hardpoint. This takes an already powerful module and pushes it into the frankly devastating, though only if you can get close enough to land shots. Most commanders who equip missiles select Smart Fire Seeker Missile Racks for their hefty guidance advantages. Seeker Missile homing capabilities make the weapon more consistent, allowing users to engage targets at greater ranges with higher consistency. Seekers cannot be defeated by chaff, but are vulnerable to point defense and ECM utilities. Seeker Missiles can be fired by a gunner, who can lock onto and launch them from any angle of attack whether or not the target is directly in front of you. When operated by a gunner, they're immune to the experimental effect target lock breaker, making them viable in PvP only when a gunner is present. These advantages are exchanged for the inability to fire without a target lock. Half the DPS of a dumb fire missile rack and a much slower projectile that can be outrun by some of the smaller ships with engineering. I'll give Seekers their own review at a later date. Despite these disadvantages, I've found Dumbfires an effective weapon in PvE, with possible use cases in PvP, if you can be accurate enough to hit the target. It's possible with enough get good to kill another player with these weapons, though you need to have a way to kill the target's shields before they become effective. The ship you see here mixed oversized and penetrator experimental effects to spread damage out across external and internal modules. This is something to take note of because the penetrator experimental effect greatly reduces the damage its missiles do to external weapons and utilities. 
Having the ability to disable a target's weapons is invaluable in a protracted fight, especially in PvP. Some curated PvP tournaments have outright banned Seeker Missile Racks for this reason, since they make the process of disabling hardpoints almost effortless. It only takes three or four direct hits with Seeker Racks to disable a weapon hardpoint, something to keep in mind when using dumbfires, since their higher damage reduces this requirement even further. You also don't have to sub-target at all to wreck a target's internal modules, and will find yourself disabling critical systems like the shield generator, thrusters, and even the power plant on accident through the course of a fight. All things considered, dumbfires are a great weapon for PvE. They're fun to use and offer unique advantages provided you have a way to kill a target's shields. With time and practice, you'll find them effective and rewarding, though occasionally frustrating. Their low power draw makes them forgiving and efficient, freeing up distributor power for shields and engines, thereby increasing survivability and maneuverability. I recommend them for PvE engagements since they work well across several build archetypes and are easy to integrate into an attack strategy with some advanced planning. PvP viability is unfortunately limited. The high target lead times and lack of useful targeting markers on dumbfire racks make them unwieldy and inaccurate compared to other offerings in the game's meta. While these disadvantages can be overcome with practice, plasma accelerators reward commanders far better with their absolute damage, faster shell speed, and invulnerability to missile defenses. A single point defense on the target ship can virtually eliminate dumbfire missile DPS and an ECM can still self-destruct incoming dumbfire missiles. Though dumbfires do not trigger active missile warnings for the target, their lack of tracking makes them easy to dodge and even easier for PDCs to pick off, even when fired at ranges beneath 500 meters. PvP builders who consider these weapons need to have an effective way to defeat target shields, as the thermal conversion experimental is not ammunition efficient and lacks the consistency of any of the other thermal damage weapons. I hope this was useful and look forward to any feedback or recommendations for future reviews in the comments below.